Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 24, part 7 of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we expanded our railroad empire to reach the state of Arkansas, well, Missouri, to tap into the logging camp, the cornfield, as well as transporting loads of milk down south to New Orleans, on where the first loads of food were finally delivered into the state of Louisiana. And in this episode, we're going to continue with our expansion to the state of, well, Illinois, and basically finish up our transport empire. Now you might be wondering, what's with all these new stations and all these new tracks? Well, there was an off-air recording of me building this. However, the recording that I made before I went to started building all of this, my microphone wasn't turned on. So, unfortunately... I could not basically explain what I was doing in the previous episode in that one, so I'll have to basically start the episode on where it left off. So basically, we began expanding the entire- I basically completed the track work on the- well, the middle line and on the eastern line up to the town of Murray so far. And at the same time, I built a new freight station here in New Orleans to pick up loads of clothing and deliver them to their respective destinations. With that all said and done, it's probably now to basically set up a new set of services in this area. First of all, let's set up some passenger services in the middle section, basically. We'll have a passenger service from Brookhaven Branch to Jackson North. This is basically Jackson Junction. So it's... Well, actually, I gotta change that. This will be known as Jackson Junction. And since there's two Jacksons, this will be... Let's see. I believe this is Jackson... No, that's Missouri. Uh, Jackson, Mississippi, I believe. Yep, Jackson, Mississippi. So, Jackson, M.I. And this will be local pass... Local pass in... Oh, come on. Local pass in jur train I. Alright, we're going to set a space there. All right, we'll set up a new one here to Granada Junction, and put it on track three. Hmm. How come is it only going in one direction? It's not supposed to happen unless there's a... Oh, I think I may know the reason. This it doesn't have a double slip switch installed. And the station here in Jackson needs to be on track three instead. This will be local passenger train J. There'll be two others. This one will be known as local passenger train K1, which is going to Memphis And this one will go straight beyond that to here to Jackson Junction, Missouri so this will be local passenger train K2 Jackson MO. All right, that takes care of the trains on the here for now. We'll also have to set up another passenger train here to well Jonesboro. This will be local passenger train L. And 
finally a new service to connect to here. Which will be on track three. This will be known as Local Passenger Train M. And that will basically do it for our passenger lines for now. Because now we have new passenger routes set up. Now we also need to set up another one. This will be on platform 9, first time using it, and it will go all the way to Murray on track 3. Okay, ah, there we go, there was a problem with that one. This will be local train, oh wait, local passenger train N. And this is going to be a long distance one all the way to Hattiesburg, which we know as Local Passenger Train O. But on the plus side, with the terminal station now in basically Jackson, Missouri, we can now operate our first express service. It will be the Middle Express, going through these stations in the middle. Let's see. And up to Jackson, then back through on this route. And that will basically do it. Though I'll have to change it here. to here that there right it's all good Jackson Missouri you will base you will go back onto track four And that should basically do it for our first express train. This will be known as Express Train A. And this one will be Middle Route. As it will only be going through the middle part of the railroad. Now let's see. Which vehicles did I already set up already for, their, for these local trains? C, D, E, F, G, H... I okay I need one two three five six seven eight I'll need eight new express passenger train new local passenger trains service so let's have a look now as the year 1890 has arrived most of my steam these new engines I'm buying will now basically be coal burners instead of wood burners I'll still be using these Celestri Immigrant Coaches for the service. Speaking of which, how many coaches does this train have? Okay, it has about five of those coaches, so let's see. Let's acquire number 24. Get an RPO car. One combine and five coaches. That will be 11 million. Well, at least we'll be earning some money to basically take care of that. Also, at the same time, I set up a new truck route to basically deliver sugar cane from this farm across the Mississippi to this drop-off point. Allowing for the first time, great crops to basically have sugar cane bound for their destination, which is the St. Louis Oil Distillery Plant. We'll copy this and replace the engine with something else. Let's see. Number 34.
number 54. Let's see, 54, number 58. I'll need to take out another loan. I need to have enough to basically serve my new passenger trains. All right. Let's see. Number, let's see. Last one was number 58. Let's add number 81. Number 91. Number 112. And clone this one more time. And the last one I got was number 112, so 115. Perfect. Now with my new train set, let's see. Which ones did I basically did? Okay. I, J, K, 1, K, 2, L, N, 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 O. So don't put any train on H. Just go from I down. You go to root I. You go to root J. You go to K1. You go to K2. You go to L, you go to M, you go to N, and then you go to O. Sweet. Now, for the coup de gras, my first express train. There's several engines we could buy, however, I'm going to use a coal burning 440 for this operation. We'll get number 96, and for its passenger cars, We'll be using these Empire State Express coaches instead. We'll give them a nice coat of red paint. And have several of these coaches on the train. Hopefully that's the correct number. Let's see. Alright. Ooh, 54.7 million credits. Jeez, my company is gonna be so much in debt. But, with those crop deliveries, it should basically be able to make up the money in no time. And put it on the express. And that will basically do it for our new passenger trains. Though, now we'll have to get started on getting a new service set up to deliver the loads of oil. Well, sugarcane from this farm all the way to St. Louis, Missouri to be processed into, well, sugarcane oil. This being the second train carrying sugarcane, this will be known as A2 Sugarcane. And with this oil, oil well nearby, we can easily navigate it onto this branch, as Jackson is needing oil in its town badly. So now we can set up a new service to pick up the oil from St. Louis Yard and ding it down to Jackson. This will be the first of two oil trains, so this will be known as Freight Train I-1. Sugar cane oil. Because that's what the sugar cane is being processed into. Oil. It will pick up the load, bring it down to Jackson, Mississippi. Down to, well, Jackson, Mississippi. 
I'll have to set up a new bus stop. This will be called Station Road. And I'll quickly build a road connection from here to the main road circuit. And acquire a, this to basically transport passengers to the station. Same for the city of Granada. Granda, as well as for Jackson. I'll also have to set one up here in uh, Murray, though I think it's probably going to be a trolley system instead. All right. Oh, I also need a bus stop here in Brookhaven as well. Oh, I already placed one already. What was I thinking? And... Well, yeah, I haven't set up a service for those yet, but let's get started on that. Okay. Road services. This will be known as bus service H. Wait, not white. Yellow. We'll go from Station Road to the residential districts, back to the station, commercial, back to the station, and then industrial. This will be known as Bus Service I. Connect Meadow Street and 10th Street. This will be known as Bus Service. This J, and why did I put it in white? It needs to be yellow. You need to be yellow. Let's see. And connect West Street and Main Street here in Jackson. Be known as Bus Service K. Uh, I, why do I put it in white? It needs to be yellow. Okay. Now then. Let's place down some bus stops here in town, around the residential districts, then the commercial districts, and then the industrial districts. Let's see. This will be known as Trolley. Service B1. And do the same service in the opposite direction. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm so busy making new passenger routes, I've forgotten the colors. There. That should do it. Speaking of which, do I have a new passenger service? Oh, I don't have one running from uh, Popular Bluff into St. Louis. I'll have to basically add that badly. You are going on platform three. You're going to be white. And this is going to be local pass... Hang on. Local passenger train P... Stations could not be connected. How could they not be connected? Ah. Seems like one of my switches is in a double slip switch. Oh! Or I, in fact, did not build a crossover track here. No wonder. 55 miles an hour there. Let's just do this. There we go. And now I'll have to set up another service for local passenger train P. Alright. Let's put it up to 260 million. And then just acquire another train for the service. Last one was... Oh, let's copy it. And this one was numbered 115. So this one will be numbered... 120. All right, with that out of the way, we can now get started on our new freight trains.
First of all, we'll need a mogul and several of these car gondolas to pick up the loads of sugarcane and bring them down to St. Louis. We'll carry 420 units as usual. Add a caboose. We'll need $15.2 million for the, per for the purchase. We'll buy it and put it to work on Tree Train A2. And now we'll need to get started on these oil deliveries. We'll now start using the coal burning full 6010 wheelers. We'll use number 71 and several of these tankers. Now, since these tankers are carrying just oil, they're just going to stay as they are and not be white like those tankers we're using to carry milk. We'll add a caboose onto this. 16.8. Buy it and put it onto Freight Train I-1. Oh. Also, I need to get started on transporting clothing, too. Thankfully, we could just deliver the clothing straight into Murray from the, from the factory. This will be known as Freight Train J-1, which is clothes... And it will head towards Murray. Light blue, full load, 10 minutes. Let's see, which engine did I. Okay. Coal burning, let's go with number. Let's see. Let's go with number 59. And add several of these boxcars to the service. Not 420, let's try uh, 280 instead. 12.7. Alright, $305 million. Hopefully, it will all be worth it. Alright, let's see our new vehicles exit the engine house. Okay, number 120 is good. Man, it's a busy day on my railroad, that's for sure, with all this traffic. Alright. Number 120 is on the main line now. Let's see. Number 24 is operating. It's going to take a little while for the trains to come out of the engine house, so I'm going to cut this video right here, and I'll see you all in a moment once the trains are all out. And basically, we start transporting our first loads of passengers around the map. So I'll see you all in just a moment. And we're back. With now our vehicles have finally been placed, we can basically have a look at how much our equipment has basically improved our company. For one, our new passenger services are basically doing pretty well. Although we don't have many passengers on our express service between New Orleans, Louisiana to basically Jackson, Missouri. At least, however, our trains are slowly going to build up an in profit to basically take down our nearby competitors. All the while, this new sugarcane train is now waiting to basically come back to pick up a pick up a full load. Thankfully, this truck service has allowed me to basically deliver loads of sugarcane over to basically help the plantation keep up with demand. Speaking of which, what platform is my express train on? Ah, platform 6. Wait, no, that's platform 1. But yeah, I think we are build have built ourselves quite a good empire so far. Which also reminds me, now that we have access to iron ore on this new route, we can now start transporting iron ore down towards St. Louis. Well, down to St. Louis to make it into steel. 
So we'll put this on track 3 for its arrival. Full loan any 10 minutes. This will be freight train K, which will be iron ore. I also have realized that I did not add the B&O pot hoppers for this mission because they would have helped out on whole bunch on the coal and iron ore deliveries instead of just relying on the gondolas. Well, fortunately, I'll add them in the next episode. But let's see, we'll need about 420 units of iron ore. We'll carry 420 units. Do this. Buy and put it to work. Speaking of which, hmm. Let's see, is the new route gonna be? Yep, it's new. It's taking this new direct route around. This new route will allow my tr iron ore train to basically bypass the main, the the busy mainline sections here. It will actually. It this track is only designed to travel at 15 miles an hour, but that's fine, because I need to basically allow it to get around various tight edges on the map. And at the same time, we also acquired a new engine for us to buy, which, when we get into the depot, we can actually have a look. This is our newest engine. The New York Central and Hudson River Railroad's 440 American Empire State Express. With a top speed of 100 miles an hour, this is basically the fastest steam engine you will have in the game. But I am saving that locomotive for our Top League Express passenger service between New Orleans all the way up to Chicago. So, I believe we've done a good job for today's episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries Run for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!